So you're moving here to the Dayton area and you're considering moving to Huber Heights. And you're wondering, what are the pros and what are the cons and how am I supposed to pronounce it? Yeah, I even learned as, as I moved to this area, I was saying Huber Heights, it's Huber Heights. So yes, now you know. But I picked out the top five pros and cons for this area, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in Dayton, Ohio. This is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. As a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information on where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, and texts each and every day from people that are moving to this area, got some questions, and need some help, and well, <laughs> we absolutely love it. So if you are moving to this area, got some questions, need some help, give us, give my team here a call. You can call us, text us, email us, whatever you got to do, we got you back when moving here to the Dayton area. So let's get into it. Pros and cons of Huber Heights. Ohio. <laughs> All right, population out here, it's in the 40,000-ish last time that we looked. Uh, location is just the northeast of Dayton, Ohio, and just north of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Now, let's get into the cons. We got the top four cons coming at you. Number one, well, there's not a whole lot of nightlife out here, yes. Uh, there's some small bars and taverns throughout, but nothing like what you're going to see in downtown Dayton. But just think about it. That's only about 15 minutes away. Quick Uber ride, Lyft, whatever you want. Number two is there's too many parks. That's right. If you don't like a whole lot of parks, this isn't the one for you, right? There are six parks total just in the area two of which are part of Dayton's Metro Park system, which is really, really awesome. Check out our campgrounds video on this channel for more on that. Number three, well, it's suburbia, all right? Most of this area is residential with lots of sidewalks, parks, stores. There's no real downtown area to Huber Heights. <laughs> so if you're in that big city feel or want to get that big open country feel, you're just not gonna find it here. All right, and number four, finally, are the schools. Well, they're not the best, but again, they're not the worst. Now, according to some of the blogs and some of the feedback that we've got from our past clients and from niche.com, they're actually rated a C plus. And those online reviews that we have read have indicated that there are great charter schools in this area nearby, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get to our pros. Number one pro, the cost of living. Now, when we talk about cost of living, we see this whole index across the United States. Now, 100 being the actual average, here in the Huber Heights area, it is actually 89. So that's 11% that's below the national average. How awesome is that? Keeping in stride with that, we also have very affordable housing. So that's number two. Single family homes median is around 155,000. That's pretty great. That's a high all the way up to 443,000 and a low of 65,000. Now, if you're looking to rent, rent's going to find you somewhere around $942 per month. If you want to rate that against our national average, for a single family home, it's 217,000. And to rent, it's around $1,062 per month. Now, know in this area that most of the houses were built in the 1970s to the mid to late 90s, some even in the 1940s to the late 1960s. All right, number three are the great communities here. Now, I can't talk about this enough, especially as a military vet. There's a really a good mix of white collar and blue collar workers in this area. There's lots of military, active and retired, and I just love that about the community. Mainly because there's a lot of pride of ownership in this community. You can tell that by just driving around, seeing the yards, the housing conditions. It's just a nice place to just 
go around and, and to live. And finally, number four pro on our list is, well, it's a great location. All right, you've got shopping, you've got restaurants, you're close to proximity to things to do. You've got bowling, mini golf, movies, sports. You're just a quick ride right over there to the airport and of course, right down to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So you're living close to where the things that you want to be, but you're not paying the premium to live in those areas. It's really, really nice. And of course, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the great highway systems that Dayton has to offer. I swear I say it in every single video, it is absolutely great. No matter where you are and where you find yourself living in the Dayton area, you're typically only about five to 30 minutes away from anywhere that you wanna be. So no matter where you move to, if Huber Heights is not where you wanna be, then, uh, there's plenty of other places. Feel free to contact us if or watch any of the other videos that we have here for more options. Okay, well, that's all that we have for you for the pros and cons of Huber Heights. <laughs> and if you guys want a little background, I made these videos over a year ago when I was brand new here. I'm a transplant and the, um, the internet community was really, really getting on me for pronouncing some of these cities incorrectly. So that's why I'm putting an emphasis on all of it. It's kind of a joke for you and for me. Uh, since I am not a local, I'm giving you, you from my perspective as somebody ju that just moved here and has moved a lot. Uh, that's, that's why I've been doing that. So just a little extra thing for you. <laughs> But in any case, if you do have any questions about anything else that we talked about or you wanted to add something, go ahead and leave that here in the comments below. And if you are moving to the Dayton area, my team and I got your back. Give us a call or text or email and we'd be happy to help you out. Again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.